Good morning, you guys. Now that I'm in Seoul, I'm going to be showing you guys what I eat and never gain weight. I know it sounds too good to be true, right? But just keep in mind that I do exercise. So, and I do have a busy day, so I'm just gonna be showing you guys what I eat and what kind of choices that I make in Korea. If you guys know, I go to a lot of pop chips, aka, which is like, it's like between fast food and restaurants in Korea. But pop chips are just like a quick Korean food places where a lot of corporate people who work, just a lot of people who just go and get quick lunch and dinner. They have everything from jjigae, stews, to Korean fast food, to rice, to everything. But these are very tricky. <laughs> Trust me, <laughs> you have to follow what I'm eating. So in the morning, it's pretty simple. I just start off with my yogurt. Now, it's hard to find Greek yogurt in Korea. Or you can find Greek yogurt, but it's like three times the price. Sometimes I just get Activia plain yogurt with absolutely no other sugar and flavors in it. And I pretty much try to eat whatever fruit I have for the day. I know the other day I had some strawberries. Today, I just have my grapes here. These are just Korean grapes. It's pretty much my breakfast. I think now I'm gonna be going to the Mark Korean soup supermarket you can't eat out all the time but I know when you're busy I do have to eat out but at least one meal so here we go all right so I cheated and I got this home rumble cream cheese I could not resist myself these are just like regular cream grade got this tiny mushroom it's like a cream mushroom you can't find this anywhere else of course I got some tofu tofu is pretty good because it has protein you can put it into pretty much any recipe this is the Korean spinach it's really hard to find like salad spinach in Korea so these come with like literally the dirt so you have to wash it pretty well zucchini this is another green that I've got. It's really hard to find like regular lettuce and arugula. These were like the only like vegetables I could find. Some spaghetti. This is not whole wheat spaghetti again in Korea. It's hard to find whole wheat stuff here. All right, so I put my spinach, my mushroom, and my pasta. And I cut some zucchini and I'm gonna put this as my salad. So all these vegetables have a lot of water content, so I don't need to add any oil. Okay, seriously, don't worry, you guys. I'm only eating half of it. And I'm going to be drizzling this tempeh dressing, sesame seed dressing. All right, for a taste test, I'm going to be trying the spaghetti. Spaghetti with the chopstick. Mmm. It's actually pretty bomb. Ooh, okay, Korean spinach tastes a little bit more heartier. These mushrooms are pretty good too. Now, I know you guys are wondering why am I making like pasta in Korea? And I feel like I could just use a lot of more vegetables when I make pasta instead of making something with rice. I can definitely do something with rice, but I feel like I need jjigae or something like salty with rice. So I do try to stick with something pretty simple. Hearty grapes. Here I am at the regular Korean pop -jis. This is the section of the Korean fast food. You see some rice cakes, noodles, and frozen dumplings. Not too much nutritional value in my opinion. And then here we are at the rice slash stew menu. Just a lot of sodium. It makes you eat the whole bowl of rice. It does taste really good and you do see like cutlets, but they're all fried food. So I decided to keep it with the classic Korean kimbap. You could customize it any way you want. There's fresh vegetables inside. They do give you a side of kimchi and yellow radish, but I try to stay away from those. It's pretty much the only fresh thing that I could pick. A second option, I got a salmon roll. Now this has rice on the outside. It's great because I feel like they use less rice on these and more vegetables inside. So this is a typical Korean cafe menu. There is shakes, smoothies, I try to stay away from those. Even fresh juices, they put a lot of syrup. If I'm not in the mood for coffee, I do get iced green tea. That's another great choice. My ultimate choice is an iced latte with no syrup. One downside is that in Korea, they don't really have other milk options. I do prefer non-fat milk. Oh. 
All right, guys, it's dinner time. I've changed some of my clothes. I'm getting hungry. And I was thinking, like, where else can I go and eat some Korean food except the places that I always go to? But when you're eating alone, like, the Papjib is, like, the only place that you could go to. Alone. Let's go and see what other choices that I can make. I ended up getting a bibimbap that was the only menu in the item that has fresh vegetables. It's steaming hot. It's delicious. It has eggs extra protein other options they don't really have fresh vegetable options so stick with bibimbap watch out the sauce though all right in korea you have to wear a mask because apparently the pollution is pretty bad right now you see the whole menu everything is like jjigae everything is like punjik which is like korean street food it has a lot of sodium what can i eat that has at least fresh vegetables that's not kimbap so the only thing i could think of was the torso bibimbap which does have white rice it's a lot of carbs but never finish the rice jjigae has a lot of sodium and you have to eat the whole entire bowl or make sure you eat the whole entire bowl because it's pretty like salty so i'd rather not stick to the jjigae Otherwise, in the menu, there are something called tonkatsu. But tonkatsu is basically fried pork cutlet. It's fried food and it comes with like a little bit of salad and white rice. So not that much nutritional value. Whenever I go to these pakjis, what I look at is nutritional value. Like what nutrition can I get from eating this dish? I know these are really, really boring choices, but if you want to be healthy, it ain't easy. On my way back, I did get some groceries and I found this thing where it's make your own okonami yaki at home. And okonami yaki is it's not too bad because basically like cabbage I'm gonna make that I love okonomoyaki I got myself just a huge piece of cabbage that is all I need it says to put bacon but I am not gonna put bacon too much fat so I just made my cabbage mix it came with a flour mix I only put half of it it's like if I just put the whole thing I feel like it's going to be too much flour do you guys hear that crispiness not too much you guys not too much oh I dumped it all at once, whoops. All right, you guys, it's time for a major taste test. Cabbage fun. Cabbage has vitamin E, keeps the skin, eyes, and hair healthy. So just grabbing this piece. Oh my god, this is the best okonomiyaki that I've ever made before. So crispy on the outside. I don't know how I did it, but it's so crispy. And I didn't put that much oil, you guys. Okay, I'm kind of like cheating. It's like instant, instant of all instant foods. I'm so worried about eating this, but it's pretty late. I don't feel like cooking up anything. I was at the Pyeonggyeom or 7-Eleven, and I was like, what can I eat? At least that's healthy, and there's nothing. Legit nothing. So I was like, whatever I eat, it's not going to be healthy. So let me just pick one that I just want to eat. This one has 420 calories for this one little bowl of pretty much fake cheese and noodles. This home run ball, which is like cream cheese cheese flavor this pastry puffs only has about 260 calories and this honey chip which is like pretty like popular in korea has 220 calories but you can snack on this or you could snack on fruits which has probably less than half the calories this is my favorite rice cake this is a sweet pumpkin rice cake i only have about two a day or two a snack and in korea with tons of restaurants and friends always calling you out to go out to eat it's really hard to stick to the diet but you guys i just shared some little bit tips when you go to the cafe when you go to like food places always try to stick with like the most bland food as possible there's about 100 food places per little like square meter in korea so i feel like that's one thing that's pretty much hard to try and stick to the diet bring your own snacks bring your own fruits and vegetables when you go to work so i hope that if you guys come to korea that you will be able to find these chips and tips trips and tips what the heck am i saying you know when i'm in korea like i told you it's actually more challenging for me also in korea there isn't like a calorie list so you'll kind of end up just ordering whatever you want so that's pretty dangerous and see you guys later Hey guys, don't go anywhere. I have some news for you guys. I just want to let you guys know that I have started my own Patreon page. I'm sure you guys know what Patreon is by now. The reason why I started my Patreon page is so I can continue to create content for you guys. I love doing these things and I just need your help. On Patreon, you guys can request whatever videos you guys would like to see next. Song covers and so much more. So the link is down below and I thank you guys so much. I just need your help and I hope to see you guys next in my video.